Plug power, all in or not, what's going on here right now? Have we got a short squeeze around the corner? I've just bought another thousand shares at $3.17. Let me share with you exactly. I did I did it live on the show just a few moments ago. There is plug. It's dropped down today, 8% down today. And we've already had a massive drop uh, very, very recently. So let me share with you my position. This is my position on plug. On my Roth IRA, I have $3,000 worth of plug. And on my brokerage account, I also now have another 8,849. Okay. Now I was down today, uh, 25, 26%. It would now be down about 30%, uh, maybe 35. I'm down 14% because I've been buying more and more on the way down. Uh, so why am I doing this? Because I believe in this technology. I believe there's an overreaction. They are struggling, but I think we've got this. So let me um, let me share with you my position uh, completely. There you go. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're trying to push up now. Three seventy. I just bought another thousand shares. If it's your first time here, click subscribe or ring the bell and tap the like button. But let me share with you why I think we could get a squeeze at the moment. And it could come today. Uh, we are overreacting. We always overreact with this particular stock. If we look today at uh, at the volume, uh, average volume is 30 million. We've got 32 million and it's only a quarter to 10 in the morning, 9.45. That is way above, well, above average now, very early in the morning. But let me share with you some further information. Here is Plug. If we look here, 26%, uh, we are way into the uh, short squeeze territory now. A stock that's oversold with high volume, with a, a great deal of short interest, this can drive it up very, very quickly. Now, what my plan is to do, if it does, if it does go up, I will reduce my risk because I've got a big allocation in plug now, more than I want. However, what I've done is to reduce my average. We can go up 14% in seconds with this um, and more like 20. And then I can take some profit, trim it back, maybe half my position and uh, end up in a much more secure position, make a profit and lower the average all at the same time. So let's have a little listen in why this has happened, where, why we are where we are. So let me just go to our CEO now, Andy Marsh, and you can hear uh, what he has to say. Here we go. Issued Friday by the Treasury. Disappointing. Uh, I think many of us feel it did not follow the law. Uh, the people who were primarily responsible for writing it, people like Senator Carper and Senator Manchin have said so. So there is a great deal of disappointment. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, there's a lot of work still to be done. It certainly makes Europe uh, much more attractive than the United States in the near term. So, uh, but there is now a comment period and plug will aggressively uh, participate in the comment period. Yeah, there is a 60 day comment period and I can imagine there will be intense lobbying, Andy. But can you give us some specifics on why this hydrogen credit, which does provide, what, $3 per kilogram of production, why it won't spur more domestic production? Yeah. So, you know, out of nowhere, uh, there were three additions that was made administratively uh, by the Biden administration associated with a concept called a regionality, uh, which uh, really limit, uh, limits the regions that uh, you can use to generate the hydrogen versus the grid. Uh, I think the one that uh, really has people the most excited is additionality, uh, which limits the use of nuclear power with electrolyzers to create green hydrogen, as well as hydropower, uh, certainly has certainly puts many of the hydrogen hubs at risk, as well as time matching, something Europe realized you could not implement until after 2030. Uh, they worked on this issue for a long time, and uh, the regulations as stand today states 2028. And we, you know, let me go a little bit more positive. We think uh, from a plug perspective, we can work around the regionality issues. May not be great for the whole hydrogen industry, uh, but it is something we can work around. And look, uh, the documents, hundreds and hundreds of pages, 
and what we found so far, so far there is many, many contradictions and there'll be an aggressive effort by ourselves and others in the industry uh, to help uh, straighten the regulations out. Mm. And also another positive, I can say I've talked to many senators uh, who tell me that uh, the regula- it will get easier not harder. So we do expect the regulations to loosen up. As you fight some of these regulations, as you fight some of these new rules, what are you most looking for and how much do you expect the Biden administration to actually meet in the middle? I think the Biden administration is hearing lots from political appointees, lots from the hydrogen hubs. There were seven hydrogen hubs which were announced in November which would put at risk. I'm hopeful uh, that uh, the voices of leading senators, the voices of leading governors uh, will have, as well as companies, will have influence in modifying the rules uh, to be aligned, quite honestly, with with the legislation. Andy, it's worth asking also, these new rules, what is the economic impact in your estimation? We spent a lot of time, probably spent millions of dollars working with consultants, understanding the regulations and the impact. And our initial take from our models is that uh, it reduces the hydrogen output in the United States in, by 2030 by 70 percent. And the U.S. will not be able to achieve its green hydrogen goals, uh, which includes you know, reaching uh, 30 gigawatts uh, per day by 2030. Uh, we think that number is now in the six or seven gigawatts range. And that's why I think we're confident there will be changes uh, once there is a common period for the regulation. Andy, what do you say to those that say, look, you know, hydrogen might be clean on its own, but when it's used in conjunction with natural gas or some other kind of fossil fuel, it's, 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 a, it's a, you know, a dirty source of energy? Well, I, first I would take a look. I also could say electric vehicles are a dirty source of oh, energy for, sure, since yeah. many, for many of them run on coal. But I think it is a, it is a journey. You know, plug is involved with green hydrogen, uh, which means you have to have a renewable source online to provide the generation. And I think, uh, you know, when we look at it, uh, you never able to scale the industry to where you need to go unless uh, you provide a playing field that's open during the next five or six years. So businesses can scale electrolyzers, which are the key critical component in generating green hydrogen so that they're cost effective. When these laws were written, they were written with the purpose of driving down the cost Mm. of electrolyzers to match uh, fossil fuel generated energy. And uh, by tightening the rules, we actually are delaying ultimately a source of energy which is important for 26 percent of the reduction in co2 in time so uh no it is disappointing uh but i think the administration will keep an open mind and i would expect some changes andy just on a personal note with plug power on your third quarter earnings call you did you know mention the various ways you were trying to raise money Uh, obviously the stock has been you know on a little bit of a journey let's say in the last few years (laughs) can you give us an update on your conversations with the Department of Energy? Sure. Uh, we're moving it. Uh, you know, we expect that in the first quarter we'll be making an announcement. But I think more important, uh, you know, Plug has a very, very strong balance sheet. Uh, we have a balance sheet that's uh, close to $5 billion. We have great customers. And, uh, you know, this, this has been a very tough year. Uh, but it's my experience when you take a look. Uh, does anyone really believe fossil fuels is the answer for the future? And Plug is the leading pure play hydrogen company in the world. So I, I feel confident about the coming year. So there we go. That's why I just uh, bought more. As you can see, I just bought another thousand shares. I bought a thousand earlier today and then a thousand again uh, a few moments ago. I'm bouncing around that 317. I was down. I would I would be down now by about 35, maybe 40 percent at this stage. But I'm down 14 percent because I've just bought more. So there you go. There's my 
my thoughts. Leave me your comments below. Do you agree with me with the um, with Plug? As you heard there from the CEO, it's the world leading company in hydrogen and uh, the good balance sheet. People are trying to say it's it's about to go bust. It's not going bust. Uh, I'll just share with you the numbers on the screen. Uh, it's again, it's a lot of false information. If I share with you these numbers, this will blow your mind. All right. 188% upside here. Let me just share this with you. Here we go. 188% on the average upside with a 725%. That's this year. This year after earnings. It's going into the earnings. This is how this stock trades. So with the short squeeze, the volume, uh, you know, it, it's got huge upside. Yes, there's risk, of course. But you look at solvency. The solvency is 44 with a, com a company that is spending heavily and investing, uh, it's not that bad. Of course, we'd like to see it turning green, but at 50, it starts turning green. The company are not going bust. So the people that are putting information out there, shorting it, saying it's going bust, they can't find funds. That's not the case. This is not going to happen. So we are now in uh, short squeeze territory. We are gaining volume. I'm now buying more and holding more. I don't think uh, plugs going anywhere. Of course, I could be wrong, but uh, I will be reducing my position when we do get up 25, 30% just to bring it back into balance with that profit I'm going to make. But there's my thoughts. Click above my head uh, for all the links down below here and over here and here. I'll put more videos and the earnings reports of the plug and other information as well. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.